Wake up, did it, claw the drapes, did it, eat breakfast, did it, three times, kick puppy off the table, did it four times. Let's see what's next. Now, yeah, that's perfect. John should be bringing me my lunch soon. Oh, just sit me a little bit of sleepy time here. Here's your lunch, Garfield. Oh. He'll find it when he wakes up. And with marinara sauce, no less. Where's John with that lunch? <laughs> oh. Oh. Huh? Oh. Finally, John has learned the right size to make a sandwich. <laughs> this is gonna take more than one bite. Mm -hmm. Hey, Bart, find your own incredibly large sandwich. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A giant pigeon! And another! And another! Giant pigeons are attacking! This is terrible! Especially if you're a statue in the park. Hey, that's my incredibly large sandwich. Find your own incredibly large sandwich. I just violated a basic rule of safety. Never anger a pigeon larger than you are. Help! Help! Giant pigeons! Pigeons that are way too big! Help! Help! Huh? I need a place to hide. Huh? Like I didn't have enough problems? Now I've got an incredibly large Odie. Oh. Ah! Ah! Quick, Odie, hide me. Thanks, Odie. By the way, you could really use a mint. And it goes over here, camembert over there. I'll put the Swiss in this box full of holes. <laughs> Hi, Odie. Mm. I was just doing a little cheese sorting. You have something in your mouth? <laughs> Wait, let me guess. A doggy toy? <laughs> One of John's slippers? <laughs> Okay, I give up. What is it? Garfield, that would have been my next guess. Squeak, you've grown too. You're my size. No, you're my size. Oh, yeah, I guess so. What happened to me? Must be all those diets John keeps putting me on. They all kicked in at once. <laughs> I don't think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> What is it, boy? Across the street from that house. <laughs> you think that blue light has anything to do with your downsizing? Sure looks that way. Come on, I've got to find out what that light is and how to undo it. Garfield, wait! Well, getting across streets isn't so easy when you're our size. Hey, I know how to cross the street. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, watch it, watch it. I'm walking here. Where's the crossing guard when you need one? <gasps> Yeah. 
Okay now, I have to get into that house and find out what that weird blue light was. Easier said than done. <gasps> okay, how am I gonna get in there? It's Vito, making a delivery here. Aha, my greatest creation, Vito's lasagna. Michelangelo, eat your heart out. Vito here. Ah, yes, Mrs. Bacigalup. I will be delivering your large pepperoni in ten minutes. I would gladly stay this small if all lasagna could be this big. Don't you worry, Mr. Bacigalup. I just have to deliver one at the house I am in the front of. A ciao. From now on, when John orders a large, I'm expecting this. He's delivering the order with Garfield in it. So, is your son still making with the uh, the inventions? Oh, yes, he is. Oh, thank you very much, Vito. Prego. Oh, Nathan, dear, lunch has arrived. In a minute, Mother. After lunch, Maxwell, I'm going to try using my size-altering ray to make something bigger. <gasps> oh, this looks so good. Oh, I got lasagna with meat sauce and ricotta cheese and spinach and a pussycat uh, and parmesan. <gasps> oh, my goodness. <gasps> what? Uh, hello, Vito. Vito, I did not order a pussycat in my lasagna. That's right. I said pussycat. <laughs> I've got to find whatever made that blue light. <laughs> what do you mean there's no extra charge for the pussycat? came from upstairs. The light came from this side of the house. Do you hear four sets of footsteps? <laughs> it's not fair. He has four times as many legs as I do. You know, I'd like to apologize for any spiders I may have swatted over the years. <laughs> this is it. I am so doomed. <laughs> Don't hurt him, Maxwell. He's the cat from across the street. I tested my size-altering ray on him and it worked. Now I want to see if it'll make something larger. But what should I test it on? Me, 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 me! Volunteer, yahoo! Oh, ho, here! I know. I'll see if I can enlarge my lunch. Then I'll have a huge lasagna. <sighs> a huge lasagna. What a great idea. Wait a minute. I need to focus on getting myself back to my old size. I'll adjust the dial from shrink to enlarge. <laughs> Maxwell, where'd the kitty cat go? Never mind. He can't get away. Okay, here we go. Wow! That's a giant sized lasagna. And a normal sized me. You think you're clever, cat? Well, I'll just shrink you again. Oh, hey, no. Oh. I better get out of here. Hmm. Couldn't resist. Now my machine's so small. It'll take months to generate enough enlarging power to put me back to my normal size. Oh, Nathan. Now you've gone and shrunk yourself. 
Oh, well, I guess it's better than that time you turned the house into an interplanetary space cruiser. Here's your dinner, guys. Hope you like it. <laughs> nice to have you back to your old size, Goff. Yeah, uh, thanks for the help, Squeak. Something on your mind, Garfield? Hey, a guy can dream, Candy. <laughs> oh, Normal, you're so cute. You're just about the most adorable thing on this whole planet. <laughs> hey, Garfield, isn't Normal cute? <laughs> yeah, very cute. Normal is absolutely cute. Oh, hey, did you see that cute thing he did earlier, chasing a fly through the kitchen? Cute, adorable, just cute and adorable. Ah, I'm so glad he'll be staying with us for a couple of months. I couldn't be happier. Imagine a couple months with Nermal. Yippee, what joy. And I appreciate you being so nice and always smiling at him. Do you really mean it, Garfield? Just one second. I can't stand you, Nermal. You're annoying, you're disgusting, you're disgusting and annoying. Oh, Garfield. Huh? I'll be out for a while. Play nicely with Normal. Yes, I will play nicely with my good friend Normal. Oh. Disgusting and annoying. And did I mention repulsive and inferior? You're just jealous, Garfield. Jealous because I'm the picture of cute and you're the picture of you. I'm gonna get a snack, then sit in your chair and watch TV. <laughs> Huh? I'm gonna get rid of that, that blight on the good name of Cat once and for all. done some rotten things to me, but that was one of the rottenest. Almost as bad as the time he glued mouse ears on me and tried to sell me at a pet store as a large rat. Garfield! Garfield? Who's Garfield? Oh, come on, you know who Garfield is. This nice puppy? Well, thank you, Garfield. Huh? That's cute how you slurp me like that. Could Garfield have lost his memory? Oh, well, there's an easy way to find out. Say, uh, I think there's some lasagna in the kitchen. Lasagna? Isn't that kind of fattening? Whoa! <gasps> He's got amnesia, Odie. Uh, Odie! Go outside and wait for John to come back. He'll know what to do. John? Who's John? He's this guy who never knows what to do. But he better not find you in here. Why not? 
You're a mangy alley cat named Ichabod, and you're not allowed in the house. Ichabod? Yes. You live outside, and you only eat stuff you find in trash cans. Well, if he says so. <laughs> and now I have the whole house to myself. <laughs> I'm kind of hungry. I better go find some trash cans. Ichabod. <laughs> I don't seem to be finding much to... Oh, here's something. Hey, if we're not gonna eat that. Let us hear it. Huh, I'm famished, brother. Mmm, mm. that's, that's good, good eating. Are uh, you guys like that? Best meal I've had in days. Really hit the spot. Hey, welcome to the neighborhood, fella. I'm Tino, and this is my brother, Gino. Where are you from? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. This is gonna be so great not having Garfield around. No one to bother me. No one to mail me to Abu Dhabi. <gasps> Okay, so Odie misses his friend. Well, I don't. Let's see, which of these pictures of me is better? Huh. What difference does it make? I'm adorable in both. Nice of you guys to show me around. Ain't nothing of it, Dickabod. We like to sleep in the alley on account of the guy who runs that restaurant over there. He throws out something delicious, better than fish skeletons even. You pussy cats! Don't you go knocking down the feeders and trash cans again! You do, and I will call the authorities. <laughs> he thinks we do it. We don't. Crusher does it. Crusher? Well, I don't know who Crusher is, but uh, I'm too hungry. You'll be showy. Yes, yeah, especially if Crusher comes around. <laughs> Oh, gee, maybe it's fattening, but it sure smells so good. Hey, you, what's your name? Ichabod. Ichabod. Oh, well, give me that lasagna, Ichabod. No. No? Well, you know what I'm going to do to you? No, but I know what I'm gonna do. Animal Control Department. Okay, Ichabod, you're through. You're through. You got rid of Crusher? Brilliant. You're pretty smart for a cat who's lived all his life in alleys. Thanks, but I'm drawn irresistibly to this lasagna. Oh, that taste. Mm. That texture. I know that taste and texture as well as I know my own name. And my own name is Garfield. Garfield? Better than Ichabod. <laughs> hey, what is it? Guys, I have to go deal with someone. Someone who's too cute for my own good. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, Odie. <laughs> hey, down boy, down boy. Look, I'm glad to see you too, but wait. You're a mangy alley cat named Ichabod, and you're not allowed in the house. Oh. Ichabod? Yes, you live outside, and you only eat stuff you find in trash cans. Huh? Wait here, I have something I have to do. In this world, it's difficult to learn to truly love yourself. Gee, I haven't had any problem. Garfield! Uh, Garfield? Who's Garfield? My name is Ichabod, and I'm an alley cat, and I eat out of trash cans. I need a job. Could I be your servant, please? You? My servant? All right. Get me two three-minute eggs, three two-minute eggs, and a side order of anything that takes a long time to cook. Uh, certainly. Just let me adjust your chair for you. Hey, Garfield, let me out! Garfield! Garfield? Garfield? Who's Garfield? My name is Ichabod. Here, Abu Dhabi and step on it. Garfield! Ichabod, whoever you are! <sighs> Here you go, guys. Do you have any idea where Normal is? Right now, I'd say, uh, somewhere over the Atlantic Ocean. Huh? Huh? <laughs> hey, don't be rude. We have to serve our guests first. Here you go, guys. Oh, well, this looks delicious. It's gotta be better than eating fish skeletons out of trash cans. Obviously, you've never tasted John's cooking. After I send you to Abu Dhabi. Oh, you act like I overstayed my welcome. Ooh, that's impossible. You were never welcome in the first place. <laughs> no, stop. I'm too cute for this. Stop. No. Yeah! <laughs> Find another assistant. <laughs> Just as I was getting to the fun part. <laughs> so Harry Stark and a bluebird, big fat feather deal. <gasps> Did you say a bluebird? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? Forget the magic trick. 
It's just as well I might have wound up with two of them. Don't leave me like this, Garfield! <laughs> Sorry, pal. This lunch is not gonna be to go. I shall eat it here. Don't bother struggling. You're fine sandwich material. I'll take that. Garfield, come back with my lunch! <laughs> That bird is gonna be the blue plate special! Oh. Hey! <laughs> the well-stocked refrigerator is useful for a great many reasons. He's a little dazed, but he'll be okay. Why am I so concerned about a bluebird? Odie, didn't you watch this show last season? The episode where I hatched those bluebird eggs? I'll refresh your memory. Flashback! I found these three eggs in a nest. They were bluebird eggs and it looked like the mother bluebird had abandoned them. So what could I do? I sat on the eggs. <laughs> oh. As I was saying, I sat on the eggs until they hatched. And the little bloopers, <laughs> they thought I was their mama. Now, Harry, he was kind of rotten in that episode. Now, come to think of it, he's kind of rotten in this episode, too. Anyway, he tried to make bluebird dinner. The mother bluebird showed up in time to stop him, and she and her babies flew off safe and sound. Ever since then, I felt kind of, well, you know, protective about bluebirds. No, I don't think this is one of those bluebirds I hatched. They were tiny, and that was last season. Oh, it is. It is one of them. Hi. Oh, my babies. They're all grown up. <laughs> that was a rotten thing Garfield did, leaving me in this box. Garfield, locking me in that box was the meanest thing you've done to me for 15 minutes. You should be... Hey, what's with the bird? Just giving him a drink of water. Nermal, why don't you make us both happy and be someplace else? I'm not leaving. I have another magic trick. <gasps> I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving. I love it when he says that. We're going to make you a little nest. <laughs> Garfield took that yummy bluebird inside. It's got to be a way in. Oh. Hiya, Harry. Hiya, Nermal. Sorry about the news. What news? Uh, about the bluebird. I hear he's real cute. Cuter than you, even. <laughs> no one's cuter than me. <laughs> Out here, maybe. But sorry, in that house right now, that bluebird is tastier, uh, cuter. Well, you might be right. What do I do? Well, if you get it out of that house, I could maybe be persuaded to take care of it. I mean, I'd give it a good home. Wait, right here. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <sighs> Shh, Odie. Be very quiet so we don't wake up the little bluebird. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh-huh.
Congrats, Nermal. You are once again the cutest creature in that house. Naturally. <laughs> Uh, sorry, Lunch. You ain't going anywhere. <laughs> Odie, if you're gonna wake me up like that, it better be extremely important. <laughs> that is extremely important. Yeah. Normal, what did you do with my bluebird friend? I gave him to Harry. Don't worry. Harry said he's gonna give him a good home. Yeah, right. In his stomach. Huh? I've got to find him before it's too late. Oh, Odie. I did an awful thing. Do you think Garfield will ever forgive me? I don't blame him. I wouldn't forgive me either. Odie, do you think that nose of yours could sniff out which way Harry went with the bird? If you think you're gonna share my lunch, think again. You give that bird back, Harry! <laughs> or what? What are you gonna do? Oh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Odie, what are we gonna do? Park all you like, dog. It won't interfere with my meal. Oh, it's no use. I'm probably too late. I know that bark. <laughs> Unhand that bird, Harry. Who's gonna make me? Meow. You can't beat me. You're out of shape, Garfield. <laughs> yeah, eating 10 pounds of pasta a day will do that to you. <laughs> and now it's supper time. Whoa! 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 Get out! Get away from me! I'll never chase another bluebird again! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Hey! <laughs> okay, Garfield, get it over with. Mail me to Abu Dhabi. I did something <laughs> rotten. Yes, you did, Nermal. But you also tried to save my friend the Bluebird. So, I'm not gonna mail you to Abu Dhabi. You're not? <laughs> Here, send this to Greenland. It's not quite as far as Abu Dhabi. A couple of weeks without Nermal always makes me happy. And you know what makes me even happier? That. Bluebird's information.
Odi, there's supposed to be food on this table. Do you see any food on this table? I have a horrible feeling I know what John's doing instead of making our lunch. Yes, if you act right now, this lovely possum waxer can be yours. Finally, you can wax your possum with the possum waxer the professionals use. Oh no, hey. he's watching the All Buying Stuff channel again. I don't have a possum, but if I did have a possum, I'd certainly want to make sure it was professionally waxed. I've got to stop John from wasting all his money on junk like that. Money he could be putting to better use, like feeding his cat. Uh -huh. Hello, All Buying Stuff channel? I'd like to order 10 possum waxers. <gasps> Where did I get the tuba? John bought it from the TV channel. He also bought an automatic on-off machine. It turns itself on, then it turns itself off. Then it turns itself on, then it turns itself off. Then it turns itself on, this is all it does. Then it turns itself off. Here's a two-year supply of helium-filled sweat socks. That's useful. And this is a life-size statue of Harlow P. Inthwistle, the inventor of the waterproof sponge. Oh, thanks for stopping me, Garfield. I almost bought something that was useless and expensive. And not even edible. I'm going to do something drastic to make sure that never happens again. I'm going to turn off that channel. And you'll love our next item. It's a portable cooling device that requires no electricity. I don't have a portable cooling device that uses no electricity. Huh? <laughs> Too hot? Just use your portable cooling device that uses no electricity. Call now to order yours. I must call now to order mine. <gasps> huh? No, no, you must resist. Stop! And remember, you still have time to order this exquisite diamond studded flea collar. <laughs> No, stop! You can't buy every stupid thing they offer on TV. They sell junk. They sell garbage. How would you like to press a button and have a fresh, steaming hot pizza in less than 30 minutes? <laughs> Meet the magnificent mozzarella machine! They sell the greatest scientific breakthrough in the history of mankind. Just press this red button, follow directions, and in just one half hour, you'll be feasting on pizza just the way you like it. Magnificent mozzarella machine. Isn't science wonderful? Must have magnificent mozzarella machine. That's right. I want to order one of those portable cooling devices that uses no electricity. Oh, and a magnificent mozzarella machine. Oh, right. And for my dog, an exquisite diamond-studded flea collar. I'll give you my credit card number. Now, Odie, it takes time for these things to arrive, so don't get impatient. Where is it? I want it. Why is it here? I want it now. Now, now. <laughs> Here's my portable cooling device that uses no electricity. Gee, I wonder how it makes things cold. <gasps> All it is is a giant ice cube. <laughs> oh, Odie. Where's your exquisite diamond-studded flea collar? What's this? Instructions for exquisite diamond-studded flea collar. Put color on flea? A flea collar that goes on the flea? That's a rip-off! <sighs> hey, you guys are just mad because you ordered the wrong things. I'm gonna use my magnificent mozzarella machine to whip up the pizza of my dreams. Press red button, follow directions. 
In just one half hour, you will have pizza just the way you like it. <laughs> Here goes. <laughs> Call Vito's Pizzeria, 555-7392. They deliver. Excuse me. I have to go register a serious complaint. <laughs> I've seen their ads. They promise that if you're not satisfied, they'll cheerfully refund your money. A refund? <laughs> he wants a refund! <laughs> <laughs> he thinks we'll give him his money back! <laughs> well, at least they're cheerful. There must be someone here who'll take this junk back. <laughs> hey, that cat went inside. He expects a refund. Nobody's ever gotten a refund around here. Don't delay, folks. Hurry right now and order the spectacular internet-ready cheese straightener. Are we off the air? Good. Sold another couple thousand pieces of junk, boss. Good work, Hal. Hey, what's going on? Some cat got into the studio. He wants a refund for something. Refund? <laughs> <laughs> there he is! Here's the only thing this is good for. Shipping department. Let's see what's in here. I've got to find who's ever in charge of this TV station. Maybe he can... Oh, no. Bubble wrap. It's impossible to see bubble wrap and not do this. <laughs> I think he went into the shipping department. <laughs> so what's the next bit of overpriced garbage I get to sell? This? I'm calling it the awesome audio appliance. It records and plays any music or speech. You'll say it's computerized and digital and high-tech, but really, it's an old tape recorder. I bought a ton of them from a junkyard. They'll record and play, but not for long. <clears throat> but basically, it's another piece of junk. Everything we sell on this station is a piece of junk. The idiots out there never catch on. Hey, there's the cat they're looking for. I think I lost him. <laughs> I think they found me. Ah, got him! Let's take him to the boss. You can't live without one of these awesome audio appliances. Odie, huh? if I've learned one thing, I'm never ordering again from the All Buying Stuff channel. <laughs> they sell shoddy merchandise, and they lie and... Gee, that audio thing they're selling looks awfully cool. Hey. Oh. We caught the cat, boss. What should we do with him? Throw him out and don't give him his money back. I never give anyone their money back, and you know why? Because people are stupid. They never catch on that the stuff I sell is garbage. This awesome audio appliance plays the most beautiful music. Listen. But basically, it's another piece of junk. Everything we sell on this station is a piece of junk. The idiots out there never catch on. 
have a feeling they'll catch on now. I'll give you a refund, cat. Just get out of here. I'll go, but there's something else I want. <laughs> So the police said they've received so many complaints about the All Buying Stuff channel, they're investigating. The owner may have to give everyone refunds or go to jail. Ah, uh, it was nothing. The only thing is, well, I kind of enjoyed watching that station. Now that it's off the air, I don't know what to do for fun. I wouldn't leave till they gave me a three-year supply of bubble wrap. Here. Hey, this is more fun than watching the All Buying Stuff channel. <laughs> And a whole lot cheaper. Boy, you just did two. Guys, this is probably not an emergency. That's a relief. We have to go see my Aunt Ivy. That's not a relief. <laughs> she said she needed me over at her house right away. Aunt Ivy. <laughs> Here, Johnny. I'm having my house fumigated to get rid of little pests. Okay, huh? we've tended the house. You'll have to stay out for, oh, three, maybe four days. Well, I guess it has to be done. So, Aunt Ivy, where are you going to... Oh, no. I'm staying with you, Johnny. Now, don't just stand there. Get my luggage! Huh? <laughs> uh... I packed a few things I absolutely have to take along. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> and when you serve me breakfast in bed, keep it tidy, because I'll be taking over your bedroom, and maybe the whole upstairs. Yes, Aunt Ivy. I want dinner at 8 sharp, not 8.05. Make it high on taste, low on cholesterol, and serve it on good dinnerware. Uh, yes, Aunt Ivy. Uh. In an odd way, I like having Aunt Ivy on the show. Compared to her, I actually seem easy to live with. My favorite show is on now. Is it okay if I watch it? No. <sighs> Aunt Ivy, would you please pass the mashed potatoes? No. Aunt Ivy, you've been in the bathroom for two hours. Could you please hurry up so I can use it? No. <laughs> I distinctly asked for chocolate chip! Sure! Come by any time. I may be here a few weeks. <laughs> a few weeks? I just invited my sister and my nieces over. You don't mind. Not that it would matter if you did. Her sister? Her nieces? Chocolate chip pancakes? What am I gonna do? I can't take any more of this. But she is my aunt. Ah! As always, the cat is coming to your rescue. Oh, what's this, Garfield? It's a picture of my brother. Don't I have enough problems with my family? Don't I... Oh, that's it, Garfield. You're brilliant. True. <laughs> Hi, 
Aunt Ivy, wouldn't you like to go visit your other nephew on the farm? Of course you would. I don't want to go to the farm. I hate farm. <laughs> I know you can't wait to be there. Doc Boy's going to be so happy to see his favorite aunt. <laughs> Doc Boy, I brought you a surprise. John, a surprise? <laughs> 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 Surprise! Wait! Take her back! Don't drop me! Stop! John, come back! <sighs> Hello, Aunt Ivy. <gasps> I see this farm is still a dump. So nice of you to come visit. I'm free! I'm free! <laughs> Ooh, la, 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 la. I know it was a rotten thing to do to my brother, but it had to be done. Hello. You've got to take her back, John. Two pillows! I need mean two pillows! Sorry, brother. She's your aunt, too. Take her back. Take her back. You can call. Hey. Please, John. <laughs> The room I'm going to stay in. I want it painted another color. Oh! Watch out on those turns! And stop off and get me some denture glue! <laughs> that must be Vito. I called him to deliver a couple of pizzas. <laughs> huh? Here, you left this at the farm. You forgot my denture glue. Yeah, it does look like we're stuck with her. But hey, it could be worse. Hi, Cousin John! Hi, Ivy! See? It's worse. And Esther will be coming along later. Lovely. It's so nice to see you, Drusilla, and you too, Minerva. No, I'm Drusilla. She's Minerva. Are you sure? Oh, look! The kitty cat! No, no, not them again. <laughs> What's the big idea taking me to that farm? I hate that farm. I also hate this place, which smells like a farm. Now, how about the way you've been getting your hair cut lately? I want a new spring outfit. You need to find a better job. And then we know we're going to the mall. Oh, we already got there. Can we have ice cream? No, take them away. I'm not home. Take them, please. I'll never ask you for anything ever again. Hey. <laughs> 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 with you. The kitty doesn't want to play with you. Are you sure you won't take them home? I couldn't even take me home. Lying around loafing when you should be getting me an evening snack. And Ivy, when are you going home? When they get rid of all the mice I had in my house. There's nothing I hate more in the world than mice. Mice? You don't want me. 
You want to play with this adorable puppy dog. Puppy dog! Puppy dog! Puppy dog! Squeak, it's me. It's important. I don't care what you say, I'm not taking Aunt Ivy. Huh. Squeak, open up, I need your help. You two both can stand to get a little more exercise. Oh. And I want a pickle. Has anyone seen the kitty cat? Huh? What's that terrible music? Thanks, guys. Anything to get rid of Aunt Ivy, and people call us pests. Sorry I tried to stick you with Aunt Ivy, Doc Boy. I forgive you, John, and don't call me Doc Boy. I guess every family has a couple of annoying relatives. Fortunately, that's all we have. <gasps> Aunt Ivy! We thought you were afraid of mice. I was, but on my way out, I ran into my twin sister, and she reminded me I got over that. Twin sister? You remember Aunt Esther. Hi, nephews. You don't mind if I stay for a while, too, do you? No, ah, again! We want dinner. We want to watch TV we while we eat dinner. <gasps> this is twice as bad. <laughs> Esther, you remember Drusilla and Minerva? Of course! And I brought my twins, Lucretia and Tabitha. Hi, Lucretia and Tabitha! Oh, oh, no! Ah, remember that exterminator from the beginning of the episode? You think he knows how to get rid of relatives? Surprised to see Dr. Whipple has a new TV show. Didn't we get rid of this guy last season? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I use the latest techniques of psychology to aid people with their problems. That means he charges people a lot of money to tell them that they're confused. Today, I am pleased to introduce you to my latest <laughs> patient. <laughs> An elephant? Either that or a mouse with a severe eating disorder. Oh, this is Shrimpy the Elephant. Shrimpy, show the people what I've taught you. Hey! <laughs> Isn't this great? You dragged me here to see a man tell an animal what to do? I'm gonna go find something to eat. As you can see, Shrimpy here has been trained with love and affection. Smile. Or I won't feed you again till August. Hmm, nice spread they put out for the crew. <gasps> You 
missed three steps and forgot to do the Elvis impression. Just for that, no lunch. Hey, not that it's a lot of my business, but uh, where do you put up with this? If I don't, he doesn't feed me. Looks like he's not feeding you now. Here, have half of mine. Oh, thanks. You know, Shrimpy, I have a guy who feeds me, and I don't have to do handstands or live in a cage. On the other hand, Shrimpy doesn't have to put up with Nermal, or those twins, and Aunt Ivy, and Doggy Tongue. He's right. That cat is right. Wasn't that elephant act great? No. get past you. Sorry, Doc. I was on my break and... Call the police. Call everyone. All units, be on the lookout for one elephant. Description, Ray. Approximate weight, 7,000 pounds. What do you think all this police activity is about? Maybe they're going to arrest Dr. Whipple for impersonating a human being. I'm going to go visit Liz. I'll see you back at the house. Bring pizza. People who treat animals like that should be treated, well, the way they treat animals. What is it with all these policemen? Hey! Huh? Huh? Who hit me? <gasps> you made a break for it? I couldn't take any more of it. But it's no use. They'll find me and they'll take me back there. And he'll, he'll be even madder at me. Hide me! You gotta hide me! Hide you? You're a little large, don't you think? Couldn't I go on a crash diet? Hmm, there must be a way. Here's an old flat volleyball, and here's some black paint. Maybe. Huh? Come on, just a little more. Tuck it in. You're supposed to be a dog, remember? Bark, do dog stuff. Come on, Spot. What kind of dog do you think that was, Henry? It looked to me like part Cocker Spaniel, part uh, Pachyderm. I don't care what it is. I'm just glad I don't have to clean up after it. Al, how many dogs have you caught this month? Well, let's see. Uh, there was that Lhasa Apso. Oh, no, she got away. <laughs> Try none. Al, you haven't caught so much as a Chihuahua in months. I'm going to assign you to something a little bigger and easier to find. You think maybe you could find a elephant? Yeah, and I know exactly how to do it. <laughs> I'll sneak you in the back way. No, I don't think this will work. I'll take you in the front way. Sure, like you don't have a couple of fat relatives you have to do this with. I... Is this 
where you live? Shh. I'll try to find you something to eat. Around here, it's mostly lasagna or dog food. Odie! I didn't mean dog food like that. Spit my friend Odie out right now. Sorry! Garfield, if you think I'm going to feed your elephant friends, you're sadly mistaken. Three, two, one. Mm. Elephant! It is an elephant! It's Dr. Whipple's elephant! Garfield, he shouldn't be here. I'm going to call Dr. Whipple. <sighs> Don't worry, Shrimpy. We'll find a way. No, I'm going back, I know. There aren't a lot of places for an elephant in this world, except on a stage. Hello? May I speak with Dr. Whipple? They're putting me through to his cell phone. Don't worry, Elephant. We'll have you home in no time. You... you don't want to go home, do you? Here. He doesn't treat you very well, does he? Uh, this is Dr. Whipple. Who is this? Uh... Sorry, wrong number. Uh... Well, we can't keep him here. I already have one pet who eats like an elephant. <laughs> the cat? As usual, has an idea. This is an article about a program that sends animals back to their native habitats. Oh, you think we should give Shrimpy here to the zoo? Well, he'd be happy there, but unfortunately, he does belong to Dr. <laughs> Whipple. Whoa! <laughs> I did it! I caught the elephant! I caught the elephant! Huh? Attention, everyone! I caught the elephant! I may be a lousy dog catcher, but I'm a great elephant catcher! <laughs> Sorry, Garfield. Looks like your friend is going back. There you are! You are in such trouble now, elephant! Don't treat him bad, Doc. Mind your own business. He needs to be punished severely. Bad elephant, bad elephant. If you think I disciplined you before, Shrimpy, wait until you see what happens now. Elephants are supposed to have great memories. You won't remember the last time I fed you, and you're going to work three times harder. No, he isn't. What do you mean? He's my elephant, and he's going to do what I say. There are laws against mistreating animals. I think we'd better take you down to jail and teach them to you. What? No! You can't do this to me! You can't lock me up like some... some dumb animal! I'm sorry for what I did, but I think it'll be all right now. What do you think will happen to him? Oh, he'll probably agree to turn Shrimpy here over to the zoo in exchange for a light sentence. Hey, this might all work out. <laughs> and look, Shrimpy, Odie got you a peanut. One without a dog catcher inside. Why, thank you, Odie. Ha <laughs> figures. I always thought Odie was kind of a nut. I'm late for my appointment, but before I go, I have to adjust the refrigerator. Do you know where I put the manual? Uh-uh. Uh, oh, there it is. Hmm, sounds like Garfield's watching a pirate movie or something. 
<laughs> Why? Aye, Captain. Her Majesty's Navy has wind of us and is heading this way. <sighs> Shiver me timbers, mate. Hoist the Jolly Roger. They'll rue the day they crossed us, Captain. And anyone who touches us will find themselves walking the plane. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All done. Be back in a while. Oh. Garfield's human is leaving. Maybe Garfield will take us in out of this rain. Yeah, and give us something to eat. Garfield, share his food. <laughs> you have to be kidding. Huh? His Majesty's fleet sighted at starboard, Captain. Button down, Majesty. If it's a fight he wants, Captain Scabbard will give it to him, right? Wouldn't it be great to be a pirate, Odie? I can see me now. Captain Garfield, scourge of the high seas, feared by all who fear the fearful. I wonder if you can order pizza delivered out in the middle of the ocean. And what did ye find, matey? <laughs> no, it may look like the instructions for John's refrigerator, but it's really a treasure map. <laughs> yes, if we follow it, we'll find riches beyond compare. <laughs> and this may look like our living room, but really, we're on the deck of our pirate ship. You see it, Odie? Uh-uh. <laughs> Well, keep looking. It's a pirate ship with a mast and barnacles and rugged men who sing yo ho ho. <laughs> Wait a minute, I can't be a pirate yet. I don't have a pirate hat. <gasps> Much better. Hey, be Captain Gerfield, the scurviest bloke whatever buccaneered the bilge water I be. That's how you gotta talk when you're a pirate. You also have to say R a lot. Try it. R. No, no, not R. First mate squeak reporting for duty, Captain. How's this? Arr. Now that's a pirate. You see the pirate ship now, Odie? <laughs> wow. This is a good looking ship you command, Captain. Hey, if you're gonna make it up, make up the best. All together now, men. Arr! Let's see if there's a way into this place. Anything to get out of this rain. Hey, what are you complaining about? You're a chihuahua. You don't even have hair to get wet. Steer the ship, first mate squeak. Batten down the hatches, whatever that means. I are your pirate ship. Brave men, do not wonder whether we'll weather this weather. Where's my faithful crew member, Odie the Nose? Is this one of my brave sailors seasick? Back up, man. The chef is making salted pork for dinner tonight. And spicy chili. And guacamole dip. And for dessert, bananas and hot caramel sauce. What's that sound? What's that menu? Let's have a look. Sail on, first mate Squeak. Odie the Nose will soon get his sea legs. All four of them. What are they doing? Hey, beats me. Never mind them. Let's find food. Okay. Real quiet. It's 
says here we sail due east until we reach the freezer compartment? Oh, wait. Until we reach the island where the treasure is hidden. <laughs> Land ho! <laughs> there we be, mates. We'll soon be on dry land. See if you can parallel park this thing in that lagoon squeak. No sweat, Captain. Watch this. <laughs> hey, nice job, first mate. I've had a lot of experience with ships. My ancestors deserted dozens of sinking ones. Here we are, men. Let's let them know that pirates have arrived. Now to find us some treasure. We go 10 paces due east or north or whichever way this is. Then we go 15 paces some other way. They're marching all over the house. We can get into the kitchen now. Good, I'm starving. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, they keep the refrigerator so well stocked. With Garfield living here, they'd have to. <laughs> Fear not, men. We're almost to the treasure. Huh? Oh. Mm, this is great. Oh, delicious. Hey, no wonder Garfield weighs what Garfield weighs. <laughs> <laughs> A band of rival pirates already found the treasure. Huh? <laughs> I hand that treasure, ye scurvy knaves. Surrender or Captain Garfield will make ye walk the plank. <laughs> <laughs> You'll not be laughing when I keelhaul the likes of you. Uh, get on the computer later and find out what keel hauling means, just in case I have to do it. And if you think they're gonna scare us away from all this food, Garfield. Captain Garfield, you? Captain of the dreaded pirate ship, commander of my rugged crew. You're gonna defeat us with a puppy dog and a mouse? Not a puppy dog and a huh? mouse. Pirates. Rough and merciless oh. pirates. Do you not see the ship? The ship that flies the Jolly Roger sign of adventure and daring? Hey, I don't see a ship. <laughs> Tall of mast, strong of hull, its majestic sails billowing. Oh, the ship! Yes, I see the ship! Uh, uh, I see it too. It's big! Oh. And my crew, look harder. It's there before you. Not a mouse and a puppy dog, but pirates. Bold and strong pirates who sail the high seas, besting all who stand in their way. A whole ship full of them. And on my command, they attack. <laughs> <laughs> Great work, Captain. Men, what do you say we go and divide up the treasure? Well, anything exciting happened while I was gone, Garfield? Exciting? 
You mean exciting like vanquishing a band of rogue pirates? That kind of exciting? I figured I'd find you in front of the TV watching some movie. <laughs> Who needs a movie when you've got a good imagination? Arr! Garfield, you agreed we'd exercise every afternoon. Uh, I must have been delirious from lack of pie or something. Let's go jogging. It's time for physical activity. <gasps> Here's my idea of physical activity. <laughs> I'll let you off now, but later we're going jogging. <laughs> I'm missing my favorite game show, Million Dollar Name That Fish. <laughs> no, I will not throw the stick so you can go fetch it. I have to go watch Million Dollar Name That Fish. Hey, Garfield. <sighs> Time for the meeting. Meeting? What meeting? The meeting of the International Normal Fan Club. You promised me that if I left you alone for an entire week, you'd come to the meeting. <sighs> Who's the president of this club? I am. Who's the vice president of this club? I am. How many members do you have? Just me. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in days like this, I wish I could be in about eight places at the same time. and welcome to TV's top game show, Million Dollar Name That Fish. On today's show... We interrupt Million Dollar Name That Fish for this breaking news story. What could be more important than Million Dollar Name That Fish? We have reports that Dr. Thaddeus Bonkers has perfected a device that will enable him to clone or otherwise perfectly duplicate another person. Oh, here's Dr. Bonkers now. Dr. Bonkers, is there any truth to the rumor that you are cloning people? What? Absolutely not. That rumor is absurd. Well, there you have it, straight from the source. Cloning people? A ridiculous idea. Whoa! And now we know. Dr. Bonkers is not using new cloning technology to create duplicate human beings. Where do people come up with such things? We now return you to Million Dollar Name That Fish. Gee, it would be nice to have a clone or two of myself around. I could go jogging with John and stay home and watch TV. I could send myself out for sandwiches. I could... <sighs> I could look into this. If you are here to ask about my cloning ray, pussycat, you're wasting your time! Do not want the public to know about it until it's perfected! The mad scientist league is having a baseball game tonight. I am the entire starting lineup. Oh my, he left the cloning ray completely unguarded. It would be wrong of me to borrow it and take it home and make duplicates of myself. If anyone asks, tell him my evil clone took it. Ah! <sighs> 
No excuses, Garfield. We're going out jogging. Now! Sure, just give me a second. Garfield? I hope you're ready to run now. Ready for the 50-mile hike? Now, maybe I can watch TV and... <laughs> One moment, please. Come on, boy. I'll throw the stick and you fetch it. I'll go find Nermo while you watch TV. <laughs> Why, thanks, handsome. <laughs> what good is having a fan club if I don't have any fans? Hey, Nermo, where's the meeting? The meeting? Of your fan club. <gasps> I actually have a member for the International Nermo Fan Club. Awesome. Oh, this is great. I don't have to do anything. My clones do it all for me. Now, Mrs. Bonnie Lou Underberger of East Moline, Illinois. For one million dollars and a jar of tartar sauce, name that fish. Uh, halibut? Oh, no, wait. It's it's not a halibut. Uh, cad? It's a mackerel. Uh, uh, tuna? Oh, no, salmon. Sturgeon? Uh, perch? Mackerel! Just say mackerel! <laughs> Isn't it a great day for running, Garfield? <laughs> there are no great days for running. <sighs> <laughs> Would someone like to propose that today and every day be declared Normal Cat Day? So moved. It has been moved. Is there a second? I second. It has been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. Aye, aye, aye. The ayes have it. Now, would someone like to propose that I be on a stamp? Meow. I'm sorry, Mrs. Underwood. You didn't name that yeah. to win the million dollars or the jar of tartar sauce. Uh. No, I wanted the tartar sauce. Should have said mackerel. Oh, maybe that's the pizza I ordered. Wait till you see what I thought of. Here is the pizza you ordered, kitty cat. One moment, please. Here is the pizza you ordered, kitty cat. <laughs> Here is the pizza you ordered, kitty cat. Here is the pizza you ordered, the kitty cat. I just realized, how come I have to do this and he gets to sit home and watch TV? How about if he runs and I stay home to eat and watch Name That Fish? Garfield, we aren't finished with our jogging yet. I can't take any more of this. He can come out here and throw the stick. When I was a kitten, people said, well, he can't get any cuter than that. And look, I fooled him. <sighs> this must stop. But enough about me. Let's talk about you, Garfield. What do you think are my most adorable qualities? Hey, you come back here! We didn't vote to adjourn yet! Here is the pizza you ordered, the kitty cat! Here is the pizza you ordered, the kitty cat! 
Maybe next, I'll order Chinese food delivered. All right, your turn to jog with John, my turn to nap. You go throw the stick so the dog can fetch it. Here is the pizza you order. Here is the pizza you order. Here is the pizza. I'm not listening to Nermal another second. You gotta do it. Here is the pizza you order, the kitty cat. Well, I'm gonna make my own clone. No, I want to make my clone. Wait a second. What's going on here? Garfield, you come back to my fan club meeting. I'm the cutest cat in the whole world. What's, What's going, going on, on here? here? Stop! Everyone, stop! My clone ray was missing. <gasps> and I figured only the cat could have taken it. I see you were right. My cat, sorry. But, Doctor, you've got to get rid of all these extra me's and him's and... Not to worry. As you can see, the clones disappear after a while. Ah, so, all we have to do is wait and the extras will disappear. Uh, what do we do in the meantime? We have an idea. An idea and enough pizzas. Now for one million dollars and a jar of tartar sauce, name that fish! Uh, Perry! Shrimp! Shrimp! We trap! Great white shark! Ground trap! Ground trap! like herring! How about it? You know, except for pizza, you can have an excess of anything in this world. You can even have too much of yourself. We agree! This is my last decent pair of shorts. Uh, where's my voice recorder? <clears throat> don't forget to buy new underwear. Never mind underwear. Don't forget to feed your beloved cat. Oh, Garfield, I'm taking Liz out for the evening. <laughs> In that case, don't forget to put on pants. I don't have time to fix you dinner, so I'll order something delivered for you. What would you like? Uh -huh. <laughs> This is like a dozen different takeout menus. I want beef tostadas from the Mexican place, mugu gai pan, and ribs from the Chinese place, pastrami on rye, and potato salad. You may have one meal from one place. <laughs> He's trying to starve me. I won't make it, I tell you. One meal from one restaurant. That's all I can afford. Now, make your selection. You're a cruel man, John Arbuckle. One dinner? It's barbaric. Don't distract me, Odie. I have to make the most important decision of my life. Cheeseburger, falafel, scallops. <sighs> no matter what I pick, I won't get enough food. Wouldn't you like a delicious piping hot pizza? Hello. I am Vito, owner of Vito's Pizzeria. You could order this masterpiece delivered to your home tonight. Yeah, but I'd only get one. Our delivery is super fast. If your pizza isn't at your door in 20 minutes, your order is free. Free? That's all right, I said a free. Idea. So, call mm. this number right now. <laughs> One pepperoni pizza as requested. 
Vito's Pizzeria, Vito speaking. <laughs> Hi, Vito. This is John Arbuckle. Would you please send over one pepperoni pizza and charge it to my credit card? Right away, Signore Arbuckle. <laughs> well, your pizza will be here soon. I'm sorry I could only get you one meal. We'll see about that. Hmm, Vito's Pizza. I wonder if Liz is in the mood for Italian food. to do. <laughs> 19 minutes and 42 seconds, 19 minutes and 43 seconds. <laughs> Sorry, 20 minutes, 8 seconds. Pizza's free. Oh. Oh. <sighs> oh, you wanted some? Well, fear not, pup. There's more where that came from. <laughs> Let's see here. Playback. Vito's Pizzeria, Vito speaking. Hi, Vito. This is John Arbuckle. Would you please send over one pepperoni pizza and charge it to my credit card? On my way, Signore Arbuckle. Let's see, which house has all those annoying chihuahuas? <sighs> this one. Boy, smell the pizza box. in the back way so as to avoid that horrible front to walk away. <laughs> ah, I am here with wheels to spare. <laughs> Gee, where is that pizza delivery man? Oh, I hope he's here in time. <laughs> Just missed it. <laughs> hmm, Vito should be back at his restaurant by now. Vito's Pizzeria. Vito speaking, I think. Don't forget to buy new underwear. <laughs> Hi, Vito. This is John Arbuckle. Would you please send over one pepperoni pizza and charge it to my credit card? Right away, Signore Arbuckle. Hey, hey. Uh. Detour? What? What? Even with the detour, I will still get this pizza there in 20 minutes. Ah. 
there on time. <laughs> oh. Or maybe not. <laughs> 27 minutes, 9 seconds? Whew. You're really slipping now. <laughs> ah, so much bad luck. I do not know how things could get any worse. <laughs> oh, no! Hi, Vito. This is John Arbuckle. Would you please send over one pepperoni pizza and charge it to my credit card? Oh, <laughs> oh no! <sighs> one pepperoni pizza and charge it to my credit card? <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Vito, when you get a chance, could we have some more breadsticks? Sure thing, Mr. Arbuckle. I used to be so good at delivering pizzas. What has happened to me? Vito's Pizzeria, Vito speaking. Hi, Vito. This is John Arbuckle. Would you please send over one pepperoni pizza and charge it to my credit card? I know, I know. One pepperoni pizza, charge it to your credit card right away, Mr. Arbuckle. Oh, Vito, don't forget our breadsticks. In a minute, Mr. Arbuckle. First, I have to make a pizza to deliver to Mr. Arbuckle. <laughs> Wait a minute. How could Mr. Arbuckle order a pizza from home when he's... <laughs> Smelly, sneaky type of pussycat. Would you please send over one pepperoni pizza and charge it to my credit card? <laughs> Would you please send over one pepperoni pizza and charge it to my credit card? I wonder if I can edit this thing to say sausage and mushroom. I'm getting a little tired of pepperoni. <sighs> 42 minutes. Huh, he isn't even trying. Guess it took him a while to get through the quicksand. Ha! Sorry, Vito. Another free pizza. <laughs> <laughs> How much longer do I have to do this? <sighs> Garfield, do not come home until you earn enough to pay Vito for all those pizzas. I should have ordered Chinese food. Garfield, do not come home until you earn enough to pay Vito for all those pizzas. <laughs> but, I'm, 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 <laughs> no. 